Okay guys, let's go and get started. Um, before we begin, let's go and have a seat on the floor with our clarinets. If you're wondering why I look different, it's because I'm wearing my Clark Kent glasses. Uh, my contacts actually just dried out and um, it actually literally like just flew out of my eye. So I switched over to glasses. Anyways, let's go and have a seat on the floor. Okay, so pause the video if you're not on the floor yet, but if you are on the floor, then go ahead and um, lay your case flat the other day. And I'm gonna move mine here, okay? Um, and what we're going to do is let's go ahead and open our case, and we are gonna take a couple of things out, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find our cork grease, which you all said you had. So we're gonna find our cork grease, we're gonna place it here next to us. And then the other thing we're going to grab is grab our reed case. Put that next to us. We're going to grab our barrel, right, which is this piece here. Remember, you can grab it anywhere because there are no keys on it. We're going to set that down as well. And we're going to grab our entire mouthpiece ligature and mouthpiece cap, cap. Once we have that, go ahead and close your case. And I'm actually going to use this as a small table to do what I have to do. So the first thing we're actually going to do is um, once we have all of these things out and this closed, we're going to actually open our tube of court grease. Now, my court grease, like I said, is about 10 years old, so I don't need to like really open it because it's already open. But you guys, um, some of you guys, if you have like the black and white one, there's like a little piece of... Um, uh, plastic and it's perforated on and you just pull on it a little bit and it'll go all the way around but go ahead and take that you can take the top off okay and then to open this it's just like chapstick you're going to just open this I'm sorry turn this just a little bit and as you do you're gonna see just a little bit of chapstick not chapstick of court grease come up just like that okay you don't want to do that much that's just ridiculous and if you accidentally go too much if you just roll it the opposite direction, it'll go back, okay? So about that much, that's, I'm gonna say about an eighth of an inch, okay? I'm gonna wait for just a second, go ahead and pause the video and um, get to this point and then press play. Okay, so now that we're here, the first thing we're gonna actually do, since this is gonna be the first time that we're gonna be um, using our mouthpiece and barrel together, um, is we're gonna put some cork grease on this, all right? This is super important. One of the biggest things about instrument maintenance, uh, specifically on the clarinet, is keeping your corks well greased, okay? So to do this, right, you, I want you guys to watch first, so eyeballs up, eyeballs up, okay, and watch this. I'm gonna take this, and I'm just gonna put a little, I'm just gonna jab it in a little bit, and when I do that, a little bit of it comes out just like that. Okay, go ahead and do that. If you have too much, it's okay, all right? But you wanna put about that much, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my finger, my thumb, right, and I'm just gonna squish that all the way around or just turn the mouthpiece, and as I turn the mouthpiece, the, the uh, cork grease is gonna go and apply itself to the rest of the cork. Now, hold on, before you do anything else, I'm sure you're like, ew, my hands are all icky now, okay? So this is what you do now, okay? Um, since you are at home, um, what I usually, um, it, 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 you know, you can get like a piece of paper towel and you can wipe it off or you can wipe it on your socks, right? What I will not do and should not do, what you should not do is wipe this on your pants. If you wipe it on your pants, it ain't ever coming off. Like I have ruined many pairs of jeans and work pants, like expensive work pants by accidentally forgetting and rubbing this on my, my, uh, my pants. So find your sock because guess what? When you have grease on your socks, your mama don't care. But grease on your pants, your mama yells at you, okay? So grease on your socks, right? And you just wipe it on your socks, okay? Now, funny thing is, I used to recommend that my students just wipe it on the carpet in, in the classroom, but um, you're not in the classroom. And so if you wipe it on the carpet, your mom's gonna get mad, right? But if you're, you're sitting in at school, like, you know, when we go back to normal school, if we're sitting at school and you wanna wipe it on the, the carpet, I won't tell anybody, okay? Now, now that you got that done, um, and I will say this, if you have the mouthpiece all by itself and it's not with the ligature and the, and the, and the, um, the mouthpiece, it's okay, right? And with the mouthpiece cap, it's, it's totally okay, okay? So I'm actually going to do this part without it. So go ahead and you're going to pull off, 
okay and this actually comes off together it will come off together even if it's two separate pieces it'll come off together go and grab your mouthpiece cap cap and your ligature and pull that off your mouthpiece now the reason why we're doing that is because this next step is a lot easier if you actually have um, these two set pieces separately okay so we're gonna grab our mouthpiece we're gonna grab our barrel and you're gonna see if you look at it one side is a lot bigger than the other you can barely tell but if you look at it this way you see how it kind of goes from like fat bottom to skinnier bottom and it's like barely skinnier okay the barely skinny end is the part that touches with the mouthpiece and not only that but if you actually try to put it together the other way it doesn't stick but if you put it in the correct way it does fit so watch me watch me okay here's what I'm going to do when I put this together I'm going to do small twists and I push together I do not do this do not do big twists and push together and then do not push it straight on like that when you do that it puts a lot of pressure on the cork itself and chances of it ripping or uh, ripping off even if with a lot of cork grease on it are pretty high so grab right let's do this together so grab your mouthpiece and your barrel and you're gonna put it together just line it up in a small twist and put together it should go on pretty easily if it doesn't, then let me know. Um, so shoot me an email. Uh, it could be one of those things where the cork, especially if you have a brand new mouthpiece, the cork on these come really thick when they come straight from the when they're new. And so if you're having a, a hard time putting it together, um, then just finish watching the video, shoot me an email, and I'll come over to your house and I will uh, make this smaller for you. Okay? There's a there's a, a tool that I use that very quickly just shaves off some of this cork. But please do not give it to your dad or your mom and see if they can whittle it down with a knife. That's that's unnecessary. It's a it's a, a special device that that I have to use. Okay? So, anyways, you put that together, and then this is what you should have. You should have your mouthpiece and your barrel just like that okay all right the next thing that's going to go on here right is going to be your ligature now we have three different types of ligatures so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause uh, go ahead and um I, I have to pause the video you just keep watching but i have to go grab the other um types of ligatures that we have Sorry about that. Now, in a perfect easy world, we would all have the same ligatures, but unfortunately, um, ligatures, ligatures come in very uh, different sizes, materials, etc., etc. So, um, we have three kinds here um, at CD, um, and so you should have one of the three. Even if you rented yours from the music store, you should have one of three. Um, these are, I, I think, I, I don't know if I had anybody take get one of these, but if you look at it, Okay, it's just pretty simple, right? And it looks like that. This is a simple metal ligature, okay? And then there are some that look like this, and they're black and leather, okay? This is the one that's on the list, and so if you rented one from the music store, you're more than likely going to have one of these. I love these. I used these for probably 15 years before I changed to a different one, okay? And then the next one and yours is going to look a little different okay the next one's going to be something that looks similar similar to this the metal one okay but <coughs> excuse me instead of if, if you look here at the very front it's going to have a piece that goes right here across it right like this one is is empty right there's nothing there but if you have one one of the special ones it actually has a piece that goes straight across here and then they've gone in and laser laser etched um b c l like b clarinet right or a b flat clarinet is what it stands for but those okay that one's a little bit different from this one so i want you guys to take a very quick look at your ligature and, and determine which one you have this is i hate to say it cheapy one okay this is the leather one and i wish i had one i actually i know that i gave them all out so i actually don't have it but it kind of looks like this one but it has a piece that goes straight across right here and it's etched with bcl okay even if you have one of these and and it's etched with something else like it's etched down here Okay, like it's carved in down here, that's different. The one that I'm talking about is specifically looks just like this, except for there's a metal piece that goes right here, and it says BCL on it, okay? So determine which one it is. I'm going to go, and go ahead and um, stop the video here, okay? And I'm going to start another video because um, I'm at my uh, my limit 
um, on how long this video can be. Okay, so proceed to the next video once you've determined which ligature you have.